It's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. I hope you guys are doing well. I've been guided to do a past life reading for the collective, singles and couples, doesn't matter. And um, it's from the 12th of March to the 2nd of April 23. So I'm going to take a look at the past life cards from Doreen Virtue and Brian Weiss. And we've got a card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angel cards. We've got two cards that have fallen out for you guys. Uh, the Enchanted Lenormand cards. And we've got one card to end the reading by the Gratitude Oracle deck by Angela Hartfield. So we'll start here, Gemini. We've got the Phobia card that has come through for you guys. So you could have uh, spiritual phobia. It's the fear of spiritual things from a past life. You know, phobias should never be taken lightly because all phobias can do some degree limit a person's daily activities and in some cases the root cause could make someone experience anxiety and leading up it can lead to depression so you know this could have been a traumatic experience from past life and you know it could be uh, that you were raised by adults with a phobia of anxiety you know you could have also been in some sort of toxic relationship and uh, you know it's brought along anxiety in this lifetime so this is something you're going to experience something that's going to come up again in this lifetime now you've also got two cards that have fallen out the first one's engagement card so you've made some sort of commitment in this past incarnation I feel like you're firstly committed to yourself, establish some boundaries about what you will, well, what you wanted in that past life, what you would accept in your relationship and other parts of your life. And that was due to um, being raised by adults with phobias and anxiety. But you ascended to the next level in a relationship. Now you have release your ex so time came in that lifetime to uh, make a commitment but also to release toxic energy or a situation or this person in your life okay you made this commitment here i'm saying with the um invitations perhaps and maybe this is you wanting to burn that energy you know um Doing this will increase your freedom and feelings of happiness. So I felt that's what you did in that past lifetime. But you could be with that same person again today if you're coupled. But uh, we'll see as it unfolds. Now, we'll take a look at the Lenormand cards. But under the deck, I have the ship. So the ship is something that could have possibly moved into your backyard. Something which was new and exotic for you. This person that you were with could have been a foreigner that moved into your area, perhaps. Um, but let's see how this is going to unfold for you. We've got the first card is the moon. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's cancer energy. But I felt back in that lifetime, Gemini, that you acknowledged things had changed in your life. I felt there was a pregnancy that you were going through. So you're female and your psychic abilities that you had a phobia about became more constant during this pregnancy. I felt that you were in touch with your female emotions and hormones at that time because of the 28-day cycle, same as the moon. You knew something was not right due to your intuition. You may have suspected that your partner was being unfaithful and you managed to obtain results that you desired on this. So whatever you established boundaries didn't happen in that past like you wanted them to. Now you've got the stalk here, which represents movement. It represents motherhood, um, changes that were happening to you. Now... I felt that you possibly moved from state to state during this pregnancy. 
I felt it happen from season to season whilst you're going through the pregnancy. And this, I felt that you migrated to another place here, Gemini. The change that you made brought you an air of negativity though and you could have experienced complications through birth. You've got the woman card here and I felt that you were very hopeful around this time. You know, uh, the same thing possibly happened with your parents and this is where the phobias arose. Now in this lifetime, we have the sun. You're feeling a little bit more optimistic but you know, this is about you finding nice weather, triumphing and having accomplishments in this lifetime. This card is a very good omen and the sun is a good sign as it shows there's happiness in relationships and that you're on good ground. Now, if you're looking for love, you know, maybe the sun means that you're about to meet the person who answers all your prayers. Now, you have mental clarity now and confusions have been cleared up. Now, for some of you, you could be confused about how you're going to meet this person. It just may be a particular mindset that's impacted your lifestyle here, Gemini. Now you've got the bear too, which is about stepping back into your power, taking more control of your life. That's what I'm feeling. Now we're going to look at... Um, the outcome of this card and we've got the timing card so spiritually the number five is a reminder to let go of old patterns and embrace change you know it encourages you to be open to new experiences to trust that everything happens for a reason in life and it's also here to remind you to be true to yourself and to live a life that's authentic and fulfilling Okay, I'm just going to pop that there and I'm going to read a little bit out of the book but you've got the sun here same as the Leo the lion you've got the moon you know things that could be hidden so just give me one minute and I'm just going to read a little bit about what's going on in this card now you may want to take a screenshot just to see what's going on but you know there's a goddess of the four elements here so like I said before, that you were going through the seasons of change. So the four elements stands between the axis of the day and night. It's surrounded by air, fire, water and earth. The four elements are a core component of your physical experience. Now the fire is thought to be the first element that came into existence. So in the manner, it represents life transformation purification the lion is a symbol of fire and reminds you to remain strong and courageous like the bear that i just showed you and the water symbol is uh, symbolizing life health and emotions the dolphin reminds you um, to allow for change while navigating emotional waters so you've done a lot of uh, traveling through different seasons here, Gemini. Now, the bird and the moon is uh, signifying the importance of breath and the ability to think and imagine. The earth represents fertility, the act of remaining grounded, and the creative process. The multitude of flowers in this card shows both security and endless possibilities. Just about trusting in divine timing and knowing there are numerous solutions and outcomes available to you now so that's beautiful there is an affirmation for you gemini to say in your quiet space perfect timing is always at work and for this i am grateful so whether you're looking for a new partner um you know you're looking for more, more accomplishments in your life with a certain partner you want a partner that's caring and uh not controlling, but they're um, more, how would you say, protective of you, okay, rather than what's happened in a past incarnation. This could be the same person that's coming through that's uh, made some changes in, the, in this lifetime. But we've got um, 
the ship that was under the deck. We've got the house. So this is probably someone that's sailing towards you from a foreign country. And um, you've just got to learn to release the anxiety and phobias. I think things are going to be more stable now for you guys. And you can let all that negativity and mindset, negative mindset go. You've got more um, success coming. And, you know, the sun will definitely uh, diminish the stress and anxiety in your life that you're feeling. You're definitely um, traveling, I feel, somewhere foreign, perhaps. You will go overseas and return back again. But that's what I'm feeling for you guys. So I hope this helps, whoever it's meant to go to. It is for the collective. Um, please bear in mind that. It may not resonate with everybody. So love to you all. Bye, Gemini.